Uh, let's move on to the next one. Old Dominion Monarchs went four and eight last year, two and six in the league. Got that huge win over Vitek, but this we'll talk about pissed that. Pissed me off. Uh, two offensive starters coming back, and the offense is what made this team go last year. Four de- uh, defensive starters coming back. Head coach Bobby Wilder, he's 76 and 45 in 10 years, uh, but they've only been in D1 for five years. He's right. gone six and six, five and seven, 10 and three, five and seven, four and eight. And I think everything falls down. I was about to say, it hasn't, uh, it hasn't tailed off too well. No, it's a, it wasn't great to start, but that's you're moving into D1. That's right. So that's you, normal. you got the magical year three years ago at 10 and three. But then you don't build off of it. It goes five and seven, four, four and eight. eight. Uh, there's what a, do you think they got this year? It's a ton of roster turnover, especially on offense. They lost ninety two percent of their oh. catches. Um, all freshman quarterback Stephen Williams is returning. Defense was awful, absolutely awful. Number one eighteen in total defense last year. Number one eleven in scoring D. You know they had a great game. They gave up thirty five point nine points per game last year against Vatek. Yeah, Justin. Fuente. Even still, they just, gave up thirty five points in that game, but they won forty nine to thirty five. It's just ridiculous. Broke my heart. Uh, maybe it's good that they only returned four starters on defense. <laughs> maybe because this of how one, bad they were last year. This is year. one of those situations. Where yeah. Don't tell me how many guys are coming back. Tell me how many guys that are coming back that were good. Yeah. Or that can get better. New defense coordinator David Blackwell. Yep. He is installing a, an aggressive four two five scheme, which I like the four two five scheme. Um, well, I just like aggressive. But I don't, I don't. I don't care what scheme you run. Yeah. In, in, in college football. Well, for these guys, I like for wanna, this team, I just want to blitz all the time. Yeah. Uh, Blackwell's only year at ECU, he saw him finish number one hundred one in total D <laughs> with four hundred thirty nine yards per game. Uh, now, granted, you can't really get it's, a it's, bunch it's, because it's East say, Carolina it's, and it's whatever. I was just about to say, so he used I, to use hard road to hoe there playing defense. I think that he can change things, and I think he can do better because it, it, it'd take a lot to be worse than 118, right? I agree. But uh, but I, I think like with the schedule, the way everything sets up, I don't like Old Dominion very much at all this year. I've got them 2-10. and 10. i got them 1-7 and seven in conference years there. I wanted to give him a goose egg because it, it ain't their fault. It was that's all that's on Fuente. That's <laughs> just broke my heart last year. Um, I, they do they they lose they lose a lot. He's progressively gotten worse the last couple of years. I think yeah. he gets one game worse, not two games. And uh, I, I got him three and nine. That's totally reasonable. They you take the Vitek win away. That's what they finished with last year. So yeah. I mean, it's a, it, look, I, I've got them losing. I, they win the first game to me, losing at Virginia Tech, at Virginia, to East Carolina, to Western Kentucky, at Marshall, at UAB, Florida Atlantic, at FIU, UT San Antonio. I've got them get, uh, with a win at home there. Uh, at Middle Tennessee, uh, I've got a loss, and then I've got a loss to Charlotte at the end of the year. I just I can't find where the wins are going to come from, and if they prove me wrong, well, so be it, because I – like. That ten and three year sticks out like a sore thumb, man. It's a, it's definitely an anomaly. Yeah, you got that right. All right.